This is an improvement on a caddis I've been fishing for years. I've made changes to the materials used, and also I use monofilament for exaggerated segmentation. All of the materials I used in this video can be found in the description below. To add a little weight, and to help center the bead on the hook, I like to add some small lead wire to the hook, though it isn't necessary. Push the lead wire up into the bead and start your thread behind it. Take wraps up through the lead wire until it is secure, then end with your thread behind the lead wire. Monofilament is used to create segments in the body. Tie the monofilament in longer than you will need. Then after a few wraps, pull it back so the end buds up against the lead wire. Then take a few more wraps to secure it. The body is made from Kylie's nymph skin. This is a latex material that comes dyed and pre-cut. Remove one from the package and cut the end at a 45 degree angle. Then tie it in at the same point we did the monofilament. Once it is secure, end with your thread up by the bead. Begin taking wraps down the hook, pulling the nymph skin relatively tight as you do it. The goal is to create a smooth, tapered underbody. Pull the nymph skin a little tighter with each wrap to help taper it down. Make sure the monofilament we tied in earlier is being covered by the nymph skin as you wrap down the hook. Once you have created the underbody, begin wrapping the nymph skin back up the hook. At this point, your monofilament should be sticking out the back, kind of like a tail. Keep the nymph skin under tension, but make sure you are relaxing the tension as you go up the hook. This will create a properly proportioned body. Even though the nymph skin part of the body is finished at this point, pull the nymph skin tight and wrap up to the bead. This acts like an anchor and helps the body to keep its form. Tie this off with several thread wraps just behind the bead and cut it off at this point. Then take a few more wraps back over the nymph skin to secure it. Begin wrapping your monofilament up the hook. To prevent the latex from getting distorted at the bottom, take the first wrap of monofilament just around the bare hook. Then begin wrapping up the body, ending just behind the bead. The direction you wrap it doesn't matter to the latex, as it will secure it either way, but I found that it works best to wrap the opposite direction of the latex. This just makes the segmentation look more natural. Tie it off by taking a few wraps on either side of it, then cut it off. Cut pieces off of a CDC feather and add these to a small clump of dubbing. Mix the CDC and the dubbing together until they are fairly evenly mixed. To create the collar on the fly, you can create a dubbing loop, though as many of you probably already know, I prefer to split my thread instead. To do this, spin your bobbin counterclockwise until the thread lays flat, then using something sharp, split the thread into two. Place a small amount of the earlier mixed dubbing between the threads, then twist it up tight. Begin wrapping the dubbing around the hook where the nymph skin ends. Stroke the fibers back with each wrap to avoid trapping the longer fibers. Once at the bead, push all of the fibers back and take a few more wraps so everything leans towards the rear of the fly. If your thread is still twisted really tight, spin your bobbin until the thread has a normal amount of twist to it. Whip finish just behind the bead and cut your thread free. 
CDC does a great job of imitating legs and gives lots of movement to the fly. I like fishing these both on the bottom behind a heavy fly or below a hopper pattern in the summer. I also like fishing these because they are fairly quick to tie. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing for more videos like it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I try to respond to all of them. Thanks for watching and tight lines.